In a recent interview with Esquire, star of The Eternals, Kumail Nanjiani, talked a little bit about the casting process for Marvel and Disney projects, and he specifically wanted to talk a little bit more about the Marvel Studios process, where he says that they mainly go in the direction of casting villains that are played by white people, which literally doesn't make sense at all. Okay, so whether you believe what he said or not, let's just toss up a bunch of the MCU villains. Now, of course, there is some given villains that have to be white by the nature of who they are because of the comic books and all that. Obadiah Stane, Crossbones, Whiplash, obviously, right? Like, Ulysses Claw. There's quite a few characters in there. We are obviously not going to account for aliens, you know, Thanos, uh, Ultron, for example, uh, Dormammu. Again, those are just like CG creations, right? So it is what it is. So then once you look at some of the other villains that they got, you know, you got M'Baku, who was a villain slash antagonist in the first Black Panther. You have Eric Killmonger. You have Kang the Conqueror, who's coming up. You have the High Evolutionary. You have the Mandarin, Wenwu. I mean, you already had the Shocker. I honestly don't see this, and I think many people have pointed out that his, like, quote and assessment is wrong, and I'm gonna agree with that. It's honestly pretty evenly split down the middle, because a lot of people complained very early on when they started to change people to be different colors. I mean, remember Heimdall. Remember all that outrage, so they were like, okay, fine, we're gonna... And just try to stick to the comics to cast many of these villains. So naturally, a lot of them are going to be white by nature because it necessitates it because of the stories that were told originally in the comics. But some characters, if they don't need to be like the high evolutionary, you can put a black actor in that role because nobody really cares or really um, has anything that's defined by, well, the source material that he has to be like that, right? Obviously, I always bring it up. War Machine was always intended to be a white character in the comics. Till Leighton came on and was like, why? And they were like, you know what, that's a good point. What do you want to do? He's like, can we make James Rhodes a black character? Because it's going to fit what I want to do with him better. And then they did. So, again, I think he's kind of just looking at it and kind of thinking of it. Oh, they're always casting, you know, white people as villains. But if we look at it, a lot of British actors actually do end up playing villains because they're good at it. But also, they're just trying to stick with what makes sense as well. So, I kind of get what he's saying to a degree, but I don't fully see the whole argument here, if that makes sense. So like, maybe there's something to it, but again, it's very flimsy at best. So, I guess we'll see what happens, huh? I mean, we've heard before that Marvel Studios doesn't care about your color as long as you're the best person for the job, so... Guess we'll see how that shakes out in the future.